the art was a, a medium that we could create a presence with each other. And that was really why I was illustrating. When I illustrate books for kids, like I'm thinking of those kids really consciously. I put a lot of prayers. I, I like energetically embed prayers into my paintings because when I was growing up, those books didn't exist that reflected my experience. Not only the fact that I was Chicana, but also the fact that I was living through a lot of difficult times and stresses. And so I want children to know that they're not alone when they are having very complicated and and sometimes very difficult feelings that I don't think are, we don't have a context to acknowledge that for kids. So when I would go into the classrooms, what I realized is that I could be very present. And, and really what I noticed was it wasn't what I was going to, it's not about teaching them to draw a face. It's just teaching them to be very present for a moment with me and giving them a tool that art was some way that they could also be present with themselves. And it didn't matter what it looked like at the end of the day. It could look like, it could look hideous. Mm -hmm. Then that was good to me, that they were keeping a, a kind of presence with themselves and also like a consciousness where they could express things that didn't have words. Mm -hmm. And so what I've noticed over the years is that my books have been the presence that I kind of send out to those kids. I can't be there with each kid for, you know, that hour doing whatever, but my books can. Mm -hmm. And that, I think, has been very important.